taking on the Seattle Seahawks. It's the second of our two games here on this Saturday as Super Wild Card Weekend continues here on EA Sports. Now Raheem Blackshear going to take this one out. And the decision to bring it out, not a good one as he's tackled at the 15. They'll bring one of the tight ends in motion right here. Check pink. Check. They start on the ground here at Sanders. Knifes his way forward here, but just three yards on the play. Second down. Look, all any running back wants is a little bit of room, a little bit of space in order to maneuver. But he also understands how difficult it is for his offensive line up front. So if they give him any space, he realizes his job to make more out of it than what they give him. Picks up three on that carry. On the ready. They'll come up second and seven. Black shot. Now Young. Open here, Adam Thielen. Seven yards there and a first down. So a nice throw right there. And this, we all know, a big test for this young man at quarterback. He guided his team into the playoffs as a wild card. Now here he is on the road looking to get his guys to the second round. It's certainly a tough task no matter how you slice it. Oh, I absolutely agree 100%. And while no one around the franchise is going to, you know, co-sign on what I'm about to say, because all they're focused on is winning this game. But let's face it, partner, no matter what happens in this one, they've got their quarterback to build their roster around for the future. That's got to feel good for everyone associated with this team. Here we Still go. nine yards to go on second down from the 27. Young will set to throw. They'll set up the screen here for Hubbard. A good job defensively to hold that to four yards, and now it's third down. They'll need five on this play to move the sticks. the 35. I definitely like the play call. You don't expect it on third and five, third and six, do you? You expect a pass play. Had a little courage there to call the run, and boy, they were successful. Here we go. Here we go. So from the 36 now, first and ten. On the counter, this is Hubbard. And space tough to come by there as they get maybe a yard to the 37. Brandon, we talk all the time about those hybrid players, guys who can do more than one thing. And I think if you're playing strong safety in the NFL today, you are a true hybrid. Part linebacker, part cover guy. And coming up, sticking his nose in the mess there and making a nice play defensively. On second down, here's a run with Hubbard. And he'll muscle his way up to the 43 for a pickup of right around five. Quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent game. Third and short. Now here's Young. He's going to get that to his running 
back out of the backfield. And he is going to have a Panthers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Well, it seems pretty clear on this opening drive that they want to get him involved, not only Charles in the run game, but in the pass game as well. And he can be such a weapon for them when they utilize him this way. And partner, you know I'm a veteran, right? In other words, that means a little bit older. <laughs> Back in my day, we used to call a guy like this a workhorse, except he carried the ball all the time. Now they get it to him a variety of ways, but you're right, they want to run their offense through him. Two yards on the carry there, it'll be second down. Oh, that's a real nice job there by the defensive front. They just engaged and held their ground. But how about the guy who made the play? We often talk about whether they take a good first step or not. Many times you just don't take any step. Just get your feet moving, get your body going. And then once he made the read, he was able to make the play. Got it. From the 46, here's second down and eight. Hey, check Mega. Yellow. Feeling gonna go in motion right. Hey, green. They'll send a receiver in motion to the left. Go and the tight end goes in motion left. Now the offense knew it. They were already starting to walk back as that one is accepted. Come on, set. Fight. Now Young going to move him around. Ultra. Ultra. Second down, another chance for Hubbard. And he's up across midfield and down into Seattle territory. Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. It's been a pretty long opening drive. This will be play number 11 coming up on third down. And he'll go again here with Hubbard. And he gets this only to the 44-yard line. Not near enough to keep the drive alive. It's a gain of five, but it'll lead to a fourth down. executed it for nine yards and the offense stays out there so now following the roll of the dice they've got a first and ten inside the 35 now a give it's Hubbard going left and he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage call it a full three yards in the wrong direction there brings up second down no score after one on EA Sports That loss of three, a rare stumble on a promising drive. Here's second and 13. Now a toss, Hubbard going left. And the result here, the same as the last play. Another tackle behind the line of scrimmage by the Seahawks defense. Just a loss of a yard there, but it's not going to help. Now they face a third and 14. Let's 
Going to need a crafty play call here. 14 yards is what they need to try to convert this thing. And Young's throw there incomplete. From a defensive perspective, they had exactly what you want anytime they want to throw the football. There was pressure on the quarterback. They were getting after him, and they tightened down on the receivers and forced the incompletion. And that hits the crossbar and comes back, and it's no good. And by just a whisker, this remains a scoreless game. All things considered, a pretty good kick. Just cruel punishment there to be denied by the crossbar. If you're going to hit from that distance, sometimes you're going to need a little luck. And unfortunately for him, this time the break goes against him. Smith on first down. Open man. That's Noah Fant, the tight end. And he is out of bounds inside the 35. A good pick up there, a 22. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Now it's Smith. Going right back to Fink. And taking it to the 15-yard line before it's brought down. He's been a one-man wrecking crew these last couple of plays. This time, 18 more and a first down. But when you hit him on the move like that, he's able to get into open field with a full head of steam. Oh, boy, it's going to be tough to get him down. Yeah, there was a big window. They're lucky they did get him down. And that one drops down incomplete. Good coverage there. Forced the ball free, and it's second down. And that's a play to applaud because these RPOs, Things happen so quickly, and that ball is out of the quarterback's hands fast. He read it and reacted and was there to hit him as the ball arrived at the receiver. Big time read, big time play. Lock it to motion man right. Off of play action. Here's Smith. And this is going to be intercepted. Picked off by Von Bell. And the Panthers are going to take possession here. It's a touchback, and they'll take over at the 20-yard line. Charles, one thing that he referenced to us yesterday was his confidence fitting the ball into any window, but obviously that window was a little too tight, and it was closing in a hurry. And he was talking to us about having anticipation in making those types of throws. Down near the goal line, I don't think you can anticipate it as much as you need to see it open. You've got to be precise with your throws down here in the red zone. That one goes into double coverage, and he gets picked off. A good run there on first down, and it'll leave him with a second and two. They just keep trying, but so far, finding no room for him to run. Now, none whatsoever. In fact, you run the numbers. He's under three yards a carry at the moment. Second down, another chance for Hubbard. And he's able to get out to the 32, brought down there. Four yards the pickup, first down. Second and two is prime time for a little bit of a gamble, isn't it? Open up the playbook, go play action, toss that bad boy deep. But in this situation, go ahead and give it to your back. Let him pick up a first down, keep the sticks moving. Set, ready. Thielen going to go in motion right. And he'll get it here on the jet sweep. And he'll get this one up to about the 39 here. It's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. Well, no matter how they phrase it, staying on schedule, staying ahead of the sticks, whatever you want to call it, seven yards on first down, that fits the bill. Ball on the 39. Here's second and three. Straight ahead with Hubbard. And he'll get it out a couple yards shy of midfield at the 48. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. Well, they continue to run the football this strong right up the middle. I don't know if they can wait till halftime to make adjustments. They better find a way to get it done series to series. I don't know if they need to sub some guys out. Bring in extra people, maybe change what they're doing on the defensive side of the ball. But right now, they're running the ball very well right at them and right up the middle. Black 
First down, they'll stay on the ground with Hubbard. It's a pickup of four, and it'll bring up second down. Two minutes to play here in this first half of the NFL playoffs. From the 48-yard line, here's second and six. Ultra, go ultra. Yellow, go. They'll send a receiver in motion to the right. Now the Panthers going to use the first of their timeouts. So as they talk it over, we step aside. Here we go. Second down and six now. Right back to Hubbard. And some solid footwork there as he'll take this down to about the 38. 52 yards rushing for him in this first half as he has certainly carried over his regular season success into the playoffs. All runs on this drive so far. It's first and 10. They'll try to throw down. Young checks this down to Hubbard. So just three yards on the completion there. And that will bring up second down. That's a good job there by the corner. We do talk about this a lot, that a lot of corners see their job is simply covering receivers. Tackling isn't everyone's thing. But in this case, he came up quickly and made a nice, sure tackle. Young working out of the gun. He gets this one to Hubbard, complete. Short completion, just four yards. And now it's third and three. He's already proven to be a factor in the running game on this drive. Now he gets involved in the passing game. I think what we're seeing here is the modern version of workhorse in the NFL, being able to run it and catch it with equal proficiency. They missed a field goal on their last drive. Here they need something to even get into field goal range on third down. They'll try and run for this with Hubbard. It's a gain of four there, and it gives him a new set of downs. A lot depending on the spot there, and he got it, but it wasn't by much, was it? I remember Coach Madden talking about, depending on which foot the official used, that would tell you whether you had the first down or not. You want that upfield foot to be the one that spots the ball, don't you? And you and I have the luxury of a couple extra views here in the booth, and he did get it, but not by much. Young on first down. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. Well, a momentary speed bump there with that throw partner. The defense had other ideas, and they're trying to mount a small stand before this drive reaches the end zone. They'll run out of the gun. It's Hubbard. And he's brought down at the 24 after a gain of four. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. And we're going to get a timeout with two seconds remaining in the second quarter. So with two ticks left here in the half, on is the field goal unit. And this one, a 41-yard attempt. The kick by Pinheiro is good. And that will do it for this first half. That's it for the first half. Two more quarters to go. We'll have plenty more to see after the break. Welcome back. 
halftime over. We are ready for quarter number three. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. One of these two teams about to play their final half of the season as we're back at it in this NFC wild card bout. And the fair catch signaled for and taken, so they'll begin this third quarter from their 25-yard line. Coming to the line here to begin their next drive, the Seahawks offense. And Charles, that had to be an interesting locker room at halftime. This is a team that's had so much success this year. Haven't really had to deal with a lot of adversity at halftime, to be honest. But now here they are with their playoff lives on the line. And I think when you're moving to that interesting locker room, you're just wondering how are they handling that bit of adversity that they're seeing right now? Because I think this is a team that has to look to lean on the veterans at this point. We know we're better than this. We've proved it all season. Let them disseminate that confidence through the locker room. But this opening drive, it'll be an important one for them to give them a little jolt of confidence moving forward. Now a first down throw. It's Smith. And he's taken down, trying to do a little too much, getting outside of the pocket, and it results in a sack. Justin Houston coming in for that outside linebacker spot, and he buries him for a loss of seven. Now, following the sack, they'll look to make amends on a second down and 17. Now a play fake, and it's Smith. And that's going to be caught downfield by Finn. And he'll go out of bounds inside the 15-yard line. A big play on the catch and run, covering 34 yards. So how about this for field position after the big play? Inside the 15 now as they come up on first and 10. Oh, they're going to run a little pop pass here. And a great job there to lead that one defensively. They strung him out, would not allow him to cut up field. Second and five from the eight. From the gun, a run for Johnson. And he will score. Touchdown, Seattle. David Johnson, an eight-yard touchdown run. And the Seahawks have taken the lead as they go right down the field and score on the opening drive of the second half. Jason Myers now for the extra point. And this is up and good to make it So he's going to bring this out and only able to get this to the 19 so probably should have opted for the touchback the Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive and they'll be working from behind now following the touchdown a moment ago on the opening drive of the half I think the guys right now as they go out on offense they're zeroing in on one big key they don't have to do anything differently just because they're down on the scoreboard now the intent Still the same in what they plan to do on offense. The coverage may be too good that time as he breaks away for 19 with his legs and a first down. Set, go. 
Out of the gun, here's the give to Hubbard. 66 yards rushing for him now to this point. Now, Brandon, that's the way you want to run the football. There should almost be quote bubbles above the offense right now. Bam, boom, biff. That's how they feel good about moving the football. The slot man in motion right. Second down, another chance for Hubbard. And he'll be brought down at the 48-yard line. That one, a first down pickup of eight. We don't talk about it very often, but sometimes there's a dip in intensity when you start the second half, which can manifest itself in some sloppy tackling. And how about right there? He ran right through that weak tackle attempt. And they'll run on first down with Hubbard. And he'll be taken down right around the 41-yard line. A solid run on first down, gain of seven, leaves him with a second and three. They'll bring a receiver in motion right. A give up the middle, Hubbard. And he'll get it down on the play to the 37. Four yards the pickup, first down. Now we all know that an offense coordinator and a quarterback, they're aligned at the hip. But when you've got a runner who can get you that kind of yardage, that guy's invaluable. They'll bring a tight end in motion left. On the give, this is Hubbard. And a very determined run there as he'll take this all the way down to the 27. Good effort. Give him 10 there, good enough for a Panther first down. Offensive line right now really freeing up the rushing lanes on this drive. And we have to give them props. They've earned them. But these big runs that we're seeing, they don't result without Let's everyone go. else being involved as well. Blocking on the perimeter has to take place downfield, too. Ready? On the handoff, it's Hubbard. And this time they were ready for him as they stop him right at the line of scrimmage. Thielen going to go in motion right. To throw on second down is Young. Throw left side caught by the tight end, Hurst. And that'll wind up moving the chains again as the tackle's going to be made at the Seahawks 16. On the ground, it's Hubbard. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. One quarter remains in this NFC wild card matchup. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Here's second and ten. Chart the motion man right. And he'll get it here on the touch pass. Oh, a great read by the secondary. They come up to stop that touch pass before it can even get back to the line. The defensive coordinators love that. You got a cornerback willing to stick his nose in there, come up on run support, and stop that pop pass dead in its tracks. And partner, one good thing about trying to defend that play, you should see it coming the whole way. You see the receiver coming in motion in your direction. Nice job of reading the ball and making the ball behind the line of scrimmage, but an even better job studying the play before you have to try and defend it in a game. And this is up and good from Pinheiro. And they'll get it back within a point at 7-6. to six. So that gets him a little closer as he converts there, but you have to think back to the field goal he missed earlier. Right now, that's the difference between leading and trailing. So at this moment, he's reciting that kicker's prayer that we know so well. Just give me one more shot before this one's said and done. The Seahawks take over first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. Here's the Seattle offense ready to get this drive underway. And this, a very important drive leading in the fourth quarter of this wild card game. But this one far from over as they start out here first down. And they finally get to him as he's taken down. 
buried by multiple defenders on the drive's first play. There's a little bit of defense right there. Nickel set, five defensive backs. They just snuffed out every route that was going. Quarterback never got rid of the football. Here's Smith now on second down. He gets it left side to Johnson. And he'll be brought down right at the 30 here. Here is third and five. Out right to Smith and Jigba. And this won't do it. He needed six. He only got halfway there. I hate to surrender the football when you're nursing a slim lead, but they're going to have to punt it away and trust that defense. It's the right play at this stage of the game as well. You don't need to press it here because you do have that little bit of a cushion, and you count on your D to make it stand up. Now the offense is not leaving the field. They're going to stay out and go for it on fourth and three. They snap it to Smith. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he is going to have a Seahawks first down as they get it rather easily there. A gain of nine on fourth and three. I remember in pregame when we were talking to him on the field, and he took his gloves off and showed us his fingers. A few misshapen ones in there. <laughs> and now we know why, trying to catch those types of bullets. That was a dart. Yeah, even for a talented receiver, those are tough to hang on to. Tackle made there by Eric Rowe. The fourth quarter here, they've got the lead. They want to keep it on the ground. That's what they're doing. Smart football. Keep the clock grinding. Keep it going. But you got to figure now, they're going to see more people stacked up at the line of scrimmage as they try and bleed it out. Only able to gain a couple there, and it brings up third and five now. The goal of a wide receiver screen is get enough blockers in front to create a wall and let him pick his spot to run the football. How about the defense there swarming to it and not allowing that to happen? Did not let him get downfield. And oh, he's just going to be short here, barely. Maybe by a half a foot. It'll be fourth and inches. If this were baseball, we'd call this small ball. Instead of pushing it downfield, they throw a short pass trying to pick up the first down. But the defense rallies to the football and stops him short, bringing up a fourth down. The offense here not budging. They're going to fight for it on fourth and inches. They'll try and run for it. And some solid footwork there as he'll take this down to about the 48. And in a situation like this, you're in the second half with the lead, trying to get to the division round. They don't let him do his thing on the ground, and that's a great run there to pick up a first down. And now this defense trying to use the clock to their advantage. They'll take the timeout here with 2.08 left. And then they'll have another stop coming up at the two-minute warning. Not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and ten. Left side, he finds Smith and Jigba. A good gain of nine before he's brought down at the 28. Fourth quarter, two minutes on the clock in a tight one-point game. Brings up second and one at the 28-yard line. Another yard would probably put this thing in the books. It's second and one. Out of the pistol, here's Johnson. And he gets it all the way down inside the 10 and mark him at the five. This defense needs a big play in the worst way because so far, they're not putting up much of a fight. If they don't get a stop here soon, this game could be over for them. It's first and goal and a late touchdown at this stage. Could officially salt this one away. They'll try and run. This is Johnson. And he's across the chart. And the end zone. Touchdown, Seahawks. David Johnson, his second touchdown of the night. And the Seahawks are able to build on to their fourth quarter lead. Well, that was absolutely ideal for them, wasn't it? Trying to salt this game away. 
I think one of my kids just graduated in the amount of time they had the football. That was absolutely impressive. Everybody wants those salt away the game drives. What makes them successful? Well, when you're able to mix run pass, when you're able to control the football and stay ahead of the chains, I'm using every cliche I know, but that's how you get it done because you're not taking negative plays. And that way you're able to run what you want to run when you get a chance to call it. They'll try and run for it with Johnson. And they'll bring him down after just a short pickup. So unable to throw it in for two from the two. Let me ask you, as a former DB, what changes there around the goal line on a two-point conversion as far as how you're defending it? You just make sure you never back up and you never retreat. You, you establish yourself really on the line of scrimmage, put your heels on the goal line at worst. And if they're going to throw the ball, make them throw it over your head because they're going to run out of space because of the back of the end zone. Never let a guy catch one in front of you. This is first and ten. teammates to accept that throw because for the most part what they've seen it's been pretty sensational now the Panthers going to signal for their third and final timeout as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play and they will take a knee here Michael Dixon and surprisingly this is the first punt of the game for either team now the Seahawks going to use the first of their timeouts That'll leave him with two remaining. We'll be back after this. Now here's Michael Dixon as he's on to punt for the first time tonight. And now a high kick here as he'll try to hang it up there. And a fair catch called for and made at the 12-yard line. They call it 38 yards on the punt, no return. And control of the football, switching hands here with very little time remaining in this contest. They'll come up first and 10 here. And we've got a timeout. Nine seconds remaining. Here's first down. 
He'll look to throw. This ball intercepted. Picked up by Devin Witherspoon. Inside the 20. And the Seahawks are going to hang on on the final play. They get the turnover. 